hello i do welcome you once again to do with me channel today too is another day and today we are going to do something different but today's tutorial is going to be a bit different like i've said because i'm going to speed up unlike the previous ones i was a bit slower but this time i'm going to speed up so what i want you to do is just stick with me and follow as we are doing at the end of the day we are going to create a complete and fully functional school based assessment in microsoft access the package i have for you is that this one this time i'm going to give out the vba code for free both the vba code and the sql statements i'm going to give them to you for free so what you have to do is that go to the video description i've added the telegram link there just follow that link join the page and get the vba code free of charge so today in our school based assessment database we are going to have or we are going to use seven tables the first one is going to be classes table subjects table terms table term details table students table scores table and user login table these are the tables we are going to use so to get started go to create and then we come to tables so here we go to the design view then we give it a name classes first item is going to be class id auto number class name is going to be short text all right then let's save it create a second table that's going to be subjects the first item subject id subject name then that one to just save it close it save it create another table to that one too is going to be for the terms so here we have term id we have term name the term name is going to be short test then we have term year and that one is going to be calculated yes calculated uh, but that one we'll come to that let me cancel it for now we come to term date term the that one is going to be date and time i will save it it's saying the calculator i have to add some values to it yes i'm adding term date because the year i want it to be auto calculated so we come to the calculated select calculated then the calculator we just want the year the year in which we are billing uh we are we are using the term the year of the term so that one is going to be year then to be term term date just save it so now the date let's come here and come to the general come to default value just enter date open and closing parenthesis all right so we save it and the next table we are going to create is the term details table we go to the tables this one is going to be term details so here term details id that's going to be to number we have term id this one is going to be a number then academic year this one is going to be a short test not take note not date and time the next one is number of weeks this one is going to be number then number of holidays this one too is going to be a number then we have vacation vacation date is date and time re opening date two is going to be date and time then we have times open this one is going to be calculated so this one is going to be calculated so the calculator we are going to do it means we are going to multiply number of weeks the number of weeks so that one multiplied by five then let's put all in bracket so the value we get then we subtract number of holidays from it all right now we go to okay the expression you entered is too many okay let me check now we have number number of weeks times five that's five days 
minus number of holidays. Okay, now let's see. We didn't get any error. But one thing I want you to take note is that if your database, the database you are building, this database, if you are going to use it for a larger school, then I would advise you to do all calculations in queries, not in tables. Yes, but for the sake of this tutorial, that's why I'm doing all the calculations here. But if you are using it for a larger uh, school or larger work, make sure you do it in queries. The next item is going to be number on row. That one is going to be number. Then, a teacher's signature. That one is going to be short test. So, we close this one. That's all that we need for the term details. Then, we are going to create another table for students. So, here is going to be students. First one, student ID. We have admission number this one is going to be short test as well then first name short test last name short test we have class the class since we have class table we'll just make it number then we have attitude attitude is going to be short test then we have interest Interest is going to be short test. We have attendance. Attendance to the same thing. No attendance is, will be entering numbers. Let's make it number. Then we come to promoted. To that one too is going to be short test. Then we have photo. That one's going to be short test. Then we have Full name this full name to like I said you can do it in a uh, queries but I'm just doing it here in this one is for terminal reports yes got terminal report maybe if you want to add the first and second name no problem but I prefer using the full name instead of the separate names so here is going to be full name so the full name is going to be calculated but we are going to add the first and second name so here is going to be first name then last name just make it okay all right so now we just save it and we close it the next table we are going to create i said i said we are going to create seven tables we are now have five level two so the next table we are going to create scores table so this one too is going to be scores we have score id auto number Student ID is going to be number. Subject. Subject ID is going to be number. So after the subject, we have exercise. Number. We have assignment. Number. Then we have test. This one two is going to be number. We have project. This one two is going to be number. Then we have total. This one we are going to use calculated. So here is going to be exercise plus assignment, assignment plus test, then plus what project. We are going to add everything and just cl uh, click on OK. So the next one we have to convert the total from 60 into 50. So this one is going to be scale total that one too is going to be calculated so this one is going to be total over 60 because the total when we sum all up the total should be 60 so 60 times then you multiply it what by 50 all these ones like i've said if you want your database you are going to use it for a larger school make sure you do all these things in queries the next one you have to add exams so exam two is going to be number then scale exam. That one two is going to be calculated. This one is going to be exams uh, over hundred. They multiplied by fifty because we have to scale it to fifty. Then the next one we are going to find the total score. 
So the total score is going to be that one two is going to be calculated. Total score is going to be scale total plus scale exams. Then you click on OK. OK. So now the next item is going to be term ID because we have to term ID is going to be number. All right. This the scores table. So the next table is going to be the user login. But that one, I'm not going to add that one because there's a video on it. If you've not watched that video, I'll add a link, video link in the description. Go and watch it and come and implement it. The same thing, what you've already done, the same thing we will do if you want to add. So in order to be time, I'm not going to add that one. Just go and watch it and we continue from here. All right, so this brings us to the first part of the school-based assessment. We are not done with all the tables. Like I said, there is a login table. That one, there's a video on it, so you can go and watch it. Let's meet in the next episode for our queries. That one, there are a lot of work we are going to do there. So please, if you're not subscribed, kindly subscribe. And let's meet in part two. Until we meet again, please take care and bye-bye.